business about the architect of 8086. Previously, we have discussed about the architecture of 8086. We have two major function block backgrounds like execution unit and bus interface unit. In the major features of 8086 is nothing that we have 20 address data lines and we have instruction queue which can store up to six by stored instructions and we have the pipeline technique where the next instruction can be fetched easily in the current instruction is going on. So apart from the architecture and the configuration, we need to know the major the most important topic like interrupts. So as we know, interrupt is nothing but a single number of instruction which is used to do performance some task or an additional task apart from the main program. So we have uh, two major concepts like hardware interrupt and software interrupt. And the hardware interrupt is both a classified into maskable interrupt and non-maskable interrupt. So as we know, we have seen the non-maskable interrupt which is given as a direct pin in the pin configuration of 8086. So what is this maskable non-maskable interrupt is something that as we know, hardware interrupt is any peripheral device by sending a signal to the specified pin, we can perform this hardware interrupt. And when a software interrupt is, we have to write some instructions uh, at a desired position into the program to create our interrupts. So we know that NRI is non maskable interrupt, having the highest priority than the maskable interrupt request pin. And it is of two types. The interrupt is activator. These actions can be taken by like right? complete the current instruction that is the purpose. So whenever the non maskable interrupt is activator, the following steps are performed. First of all, it completes the current instruction that is in progress. And next, pushes the flag register values on to the star. And next, pushes the code segment that is CS, which we have discussed in the architecture. And IP, that is instruction point, pointer value of the return address onto the star. Now, IP is loaded from the con contents of the word location 0008H. This is the address of the next instruction. And C is loaded, loaded from the context of the next, next location of 000AH. Now, the interrupt flag and the trap flag are very set to zero. So, these are the steps that whenever the non maskable interrupt is activated, these the following steps are uh, followed. Note that whenever, even though it is having the highest priority, it first executes the current instruction that is in progress. After that, only the highest in priority interrupt in our instruction which is given is performed. And next, we are going to discuss about the INTR that is the maskable interrupt. As we know, INTR is a basic interrupt pin which we have discussed in the API itself. And yes, the basic pin or interrupts can be given, but it can be yes. a maskable and we can neglect or uh, we can delete it easily. It is a maskable um, interrupt because of like a possibility interrupt. Uh, Only interrupts are enabled using this set instruction plan instruction. It should be enabled. You should not be enabled using the clear interrupt flag instruction only through the set instruction flag or through the clear instruction flag. So, what are the actions when this interrupt pin is given? Is first complete the current instruction as we know what whenever the interrupt pin is given, the first we currently running instruction will be processed and next it activates INTA. INTA stands for interrupt acknowledgement as we discussed in the architecture. So first it activates the INTA output and receives the interrupt type. What is the interrupt? For example, say X. Plan register value, CS value of the return address and IP value of the return address are pushed onto the star. So note that flag register, CS register and IP value. Whereas in maskable only CS value and IP value will be pushed onto the register. Here the value added like flag register value is also pushed up. IP value is loaded from the con contents of the word location X into 4. X stands for the interrupt type into 4. And CS is loaded from the contents of the next word location. There we can see like 000 AH. Now here it is loaded to the next word location. And the interrupt flag and wrap flag is reset to 0. So whatever the instructions may be, whatever the interrupts may be, first of all, it should complete the current instruction and next it should give the interrupt acknowledgement and should receive the interrupt type and next following that CS IP pin should be pushed on to the stack 
IP value should be loaded with the word location into multiple of four and CS that is core segment should be loaded with the next word location. Following that interrupt flag and track flag is re re resetted to zero. So these are the basic interrupt which is followed in the 8086.